Hello knitters. It's Tuesday. So I got challenged to wear a hat my whole video this week and this is the hat I've chosen. This hat I've had since like second grade or maybe third or something. Um, <laughs> it's basically my first experience with something felting. Um, I got this when I was little, like I said, and it had a brim. And then, I don't know, years and years back, it was kind of gross because it had been like rolling around in the back of the car or something. So I washed it, and when it came out, it had no brim. <laughs> or it technically still does, it just, you know, it shrunk. So, that. This teaches you that, yeah, you know, felting happens. And sometimes you don't know that it's going to happen, because I didn't really know what would happen if I threw a wool hat in the wash at the time, but now I do. So, I don't know, I kind of like it like this. It, it's a little goofy, but whatever. Um, and also, to get other challenge out of the way, uh, my fictional crush, I'd have to say, I don't know, I kind of have a couple, but I think we'll go with Charlie from Lost, because... Dominic Monaghan, and Charlie's adorable little rock, rock star, and, yeah. But my, I probably my all-time, well, no, wait, I have a couple other fictional crushes. I have a fictional crush on Ron Weasley, and Peter Pan. This is all true. Um, I swear I had a good idea for a challenge in my head the other day, but I don't remember what it is now, so I don't think I'm going to do a challenge this week. Just because, like, we've all kind of been doing catch-all challenges, so it seems like they're just been, like, challenge crazy lately, so, um, yeah. Um, hmm. Jenny, I approve of your fa the, 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 the fictional, I was going to say, fictional boyfriend Spock, and came up Spock, which is awkward. Anyway, Spock, I approve of that. Um, he's kind of a jerk in the movie, but he's also very cool. He just does what he needs to do. And and Zachary Quinto, or Kito, however you say his last name, is pretty cool, too. He's very funny. Um, one of my friend's boyfriends has met him um, at a pizza place out in L.A. that he worked at. So, like, apparently Zach went in there all the time to get pizza. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, so he's pretty cool. So that I approve of that. Um, and the Nux looked really cool. And let's see, Kayla. Um, oh, what did I have to say? Uh, I really am seriously excited for the swap. And, and I really liked all your bloopers. All the In My Pants bloopers were pretty fantastic. And Michael, it was good to see you again this week. And I'm glad you had a happy birthday. And A plus on the tattoo. I need to get one of those. I might do that for my birthday. It's coming up on the 22nd. So, I don't know. Um, and then, for knitting this week, I don't really have... I, I haven't been knitting again. It's kind of been one of those things where I'm in a bit of a knitting funk. But I figured I'd show you guys the first thing I ever completed, which was this. It was going to be like a full-size dishcloth, but I kind of just use it as my bedside um, uh, coaster. <laughs> if, my, if I have a glass of water at night, this is what goes up it goes on. Um, and the reason it's so small is because I had, a, I was working on something else at the time, but I had this most, I had about this much of it done, and I didn't know how to bind off. And I was watching that nitty gritty show, and they showed how to bind off, and I was like, oh, I have to see if I can do that. So, this is my first bind off right there. There's a hole in it. Really awkward little thing right there. But, um, yeah, so, you know, for the first thing I completed, and for being as old as it is, I'm relatively proud of it. It works well as a bedside coaster. So I thought I'd show you guys that, my first ever bind off. And then I had to teach my dear friend Callie how to bind off, but I had to do so, like, online, so I drew her a picture. And, yeah. <laughs> so if anybody ever needs a bad picture of how to bind off, that actually is very informational. Informational. Sometimes I can't speak. Um, I have one, and it works. 
So yeah, um, I really don't have anything else to say. I, like I said, I'm kind of in a knitting funk and a funk in general. Things have been kind of up and down and crazy lately. So I think I will say goodbye to you all. And Kayla, I will see you tomorrow. And everybody have a really good week. Bye.